Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome Aries. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe up, uh, button <laughs> and the like button uh, so that you can give us some love and so that you can get the update of the newest videos going up. We have tons of new spell videos going up for you guys. I know you guys have been highly requesting that. We've just been extremely busy and it's very time consuming to do those videos. So, But I'm definitely going to be back with those um, more spell videos for you guys. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, welcome back my lovelies. Go ahead and pull up a chair, relax. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more. Thank you, spirit. Let's get into it. Aries, first card here is the Eight of Pentacles. Whew, Chariot, Tower. Whoa. The Hanged Man, King of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. What the heck is going on? <laughs> and I just happened to glance at the bottom of the deck, which is the Hierophant. So I feel that for the majority of you guys, you guys are trying to figure out what it is that you're wanting um, when we're talking about long-term goals. Hierophant could represent higher knowledge. It can also represent seeking you know, knowledge. So for some of you guys, you may be reading a lot, you may be studying, you may be um, I feel like for some of you guys, you're going through this cycle where there was like a pulling back of your energy being a bit secluded being a bit private. Um, and it's because there is a need to feed your soul information so we're talking about like i said researching reading learning uh for some of you guys studying you know different practices different religions um i hear you guys are asking the bigger questions right now uh the bigger questions like why are we here um what is my destiny what Am I destined to do? Who am I destined to be with? Those type of like deep questions. The Eight of Pentacles is putting a lot of effort and energy towards uh, wanting to move forward, wanting to expand, wanting to grow, wanting to find stability. Stability on an emotional level, on a financial level. You also have the Tower card here. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, there is major uproar um, when we're talking about getting our emotions in order. And I feel that this is not something recent. Uh, for a lot of you guys, there's like this need to shed the old Aries to be able to embrace the new you. So I'm hearing rebirth for a lot of you guys. Um, the tower can also represent like Everything you've thought of up until now, what your life was, has been completely changed or you are currently going through that transformation. But, and it may have come at a cost of heartbreak. Um, it may have come at a cost of feeling betrayed, feeling, you know, for some of you guys, it could have been that you recently found out that your partner could have been cheating on you um for others of you it's releasing the three of swords so something in the past for some of you guys especially those of you guys that have been married in the past <clears throat> or lived in communion like lived um with your partner it could have been going through that major hurt or that major betrayal that completely changed your life and now it's revisiting of that so that you can finally let go of that and allow yourself to be open to knowing and understanding that you deserve to be happy. 
it's like you're coming out of this enlightened Aries you're coming out of this much more powerful you're coming out of this with a different perspective on life and what you consider to be deserving of you for some of you guys it could have been a situation where you were in a committed relationship and I'm talking about for some of you years ago and you trusted this person so much and they betrayed you. They hurt you or they did what they promised they would never do. And it completely changed you. For some of you guys, it could have been like a situation where all this time you've been emotionally closed off. You haven't allowed yourself to be open to anyone or you haven't allowed yourself to connect with anyone to that level because there is a fear of abandonment. There is a fear of being hurt or being betrayed again. And it's the type of pain that you feel you cannot go through anymore. However, there is a revisiting of this energy just so that you can be able to let it go. For some of you guys, it's realizing that that is the reason why you haven't fully been able to invest in a relationship. For some of you guys, you went on about, you know, trying to understand why relationships never work out for you. And this is the coming to the understanding that partly had to do with you because you wouldn't allow yourself to be that emotionally invested or you would keep them at at arm's length. And it's understanding this and taking your power back. This is seeing things from a very different perspective. This is knowing that you want that type of commitment, that you're wanting that longevity, that you're wanting or that you deserve a partner that's going to match your energy, a partner that is going to be able to be there to embrace all the blessings and hold it down when it gets difficult. And this is you realizing that you're wanting that now or that you've healed or that you're ready. And this is setting the course of what is to come for you, what is to unfold. I see commitment for a lot of you. For others of you, it is about realizing, having that aha moment that you care or that you've, you're viewing someone in a very different light. This could be a person that you've been dealing with um, and you just haven't allowed them to come or get that close to you. And it's realizing that you want them and it's like shooting for the stars. You're going towards it and you're not hesitating about it anymore. Why? Because you're empowered. Because you know, you acknowledge that you haven't allowed yourself to be happy. Some of you guys, you know, spending a lot of restless nights up thinking, you know, thinking about life, thinking about what does Aries deserve? And this is you taking action. For some of you guys, um, it could be the realization of having feelings for someone that has been there all this time has been guiding you or even has, you know, they've just been there. For some of you guys, it could be a friendship that you've been dealing with someone for a very long time and it's realizing that this is the person that I have feelings for. This is the person I want to open up to. This is the person that I want in my life. And it's you moving forward and taking action towards that completely changing not only your perspective, but the perspective of this person that is around you. I feel that for a lot of you Aries out there, if you have gone through this transformative type of energy, for some of you guys, you've already met your soulmate. And it could have been a situation where you were distracted, but I feel that they've been there all this time. For others of you, you will be meeting your soulmate. You will be meeting your future spouse or the person that's going to be your lifetime partner. But this is an ongoing, you know, transition that you're going through right now. Transformation. 
Okay, my lovelies, I'm going to be pulling out an oracle card. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you for this month of June 2021. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And we have number 16. Wow. Beautiful card. This is clarity. This is spirituality. This is genuine connection perfection this is the planet alignments aligning for you to bring to you abundance fullness potential lighting your way the union of two souls in perfect alignment beautiful energy aries I hope that this gives you guys insight. I hope it gives you the clarity or understanding that you needed. And we will see each other soon. Till then, take care. Bye.